Welcome to all your Capricorns. Welcome for the last monthly forecast for 2014 for your Capricorn for December. Let's have a look um, at what the planets are doing. Um, it's the last, it, it's December. So happy birthday It's your if it's your birthday. And um, a lot of planets are in your sign. And this is always good because you feel more energy and especially mentally i think because venus not only venus is crossing your sign but mercury is crossing your sign and um, that gives you this mental control and uh, venus also in your sign uh, gives you also that lovable uh, presence to have because when venus comes into your sign it's always a uh, a time when you feel very you know when you feel a bit more relaxed and that is as from already as from around the 11th of the month so uh, it's a good time to do something about your looks I mean literally to to buy new clothes or to just have a, a change of look you know if you look like a hippie you uh, look maybe more sophisticated person now just the change of looks is always interesting I don't think a lot of Capricorns are hippies. But anyway, I think more the classy. So Venus in Capricorn is quite classy, quite classful, and you know, exp rather expensive clothes, but quality clothes than a lot of clothes. But anyway, I'm going a bit, you know, digressing a bit here. But what I'm trying to say is that yes, Pluto and Uranus are squaring up to each other again. It's um uh, still one time in 2015 and then it's done. So for you, it stays important because Pluto is in your sign, Uranus squares up to it in the deepest point, point of your chart. But now the difference is um, that, well not the difference now, but this Venus and Mercury that are going to cross that Pluto has to do with a fixed star that is called Vega and that is going to activate that. And it's all about being refined, being sophisticated. So it's again, being refined, being classy, being sophisticated in your approach toward, towards other people, how you come across. And um, so it's a very benefic fixed star actually, but it, it's activated because the Venus and the Mercury are passing, uh, passing by. And actually the star is connected to Venus and Mercury. So that's a double whammy, what we call. So it means that um, the, how you will be presenting yourself towards one-to-one -to -one other people. So people who are close to you, but maybe also how you present yourself at work. Um, but mainly in a very general way, people will see you as very refined, as very gentle, as very, yes, the same words, classy, and we will respect you. That was the word that I was searching for. You will come across as being very respectful. So it's a good time to, to get your message out there in general because people are going to listen very carefully to what you've got to say so make sure that what you're going to say because it's going to come across very powerful that it's very that it's coming from uh, a good energy and it's very integer integrity is very important here and um, that it is very connected to your higher self or to the divine if you like and um, then this this particular month december and particularly around the last two weeks of the of the month, the things that you are saying are, are coming across stronger than normal. So, um, and it will have a, a, a knock-on effect for the rest of the year. So, be aware, be very much aware of what you say to other people, and um, how much that has an impact on other people, and that will transform you as well, uh, because maybe there are some things that you're afraid of saying. And it's now a good time that you're doing it and you, because you are pushed. You know, the, the Pluto Uranus tries to um, push people. It's a great stimulus uh, for, um, for potential to come through. And that will have to do with you, how you show who you are, 
Uh, and maybe people are going to say, ha, I didn't know where that came from. But it's, it has to do with you and with who you are. That's very important for you for uh, December. Also, of course, Jupiter is going backwards um, around the ninth, and that will be in your eighth house. So Jupiter going backwards is not really a bad thing. It's just standing still when it comes to what you believe in and your understanding and what you think is meaningful, considering eight house stuff. So considering um, the value of other people or how you value other people, it, it could mean also that people are giving you something. Maybe presents, of course, it's a month of presents, is it? But it can be just something imm immaterial as well. Uh, because it's Jupiter and because it's in Leo, it's quite something from the heart. So you can, um, maybe it's connected with that, that stallion there in your sign to, towards what you are saying and you're getting value of, you're, you're getting very respected by other people. Or you respecting other people who are very important in your life more than ever. It's that kind of energy. So it's very nice energy for the Capricorn. And then there is, of course, Saturn shifting signs. And um, I've talked about that a lot in the yearly horoscopes. I already made them. So have a look at that if you want to. And for you, it's shifting towards, it's important because Saturn is your ruler. And it shifted towards the 12th house, which is showing that the next couple of one to two years um, that you are in a phase of cleaning up. You are in a phase and, and you're not afraid of that. Um, Saturn in the 12th house has its, its joy, they say, in traditional astrology. And that is very clear, actually, to me, because the 12th house is a very chaotic house. and Saturn structures there. It's saying, come on, let's clean up the house. And which house? The unconscious house. And what is the unconscious house? It's about the blind spots. So, um, very interesting. Capricorn, they want to know their blind spots. They're not afraid of that. You're a sign who uh, will do well, I think, with Saturn in the 12th house. And um, you will, uh, you will ex it will be maybe sometimes challenging because especially when you don't want to face your own blind spot. But if you're open to that, you will grow tremendously through the years, through the upcoming years. So you will be a bit, maybe a bit more on the background. Um, uh, it, it's, I'm, I'm thinking about writing books or uh, doing something behind the scenes that other people don't see, but you're preparing for something that takes a long work. I say writing books, it could be something different, but the things that you will start now in December, that's going to take a year or two. And um, when Saturn's going to be in its own sign in your sign within two years or so, uh, it's going to be the oldest spotlights on you. Um, which is already the case with Pluto there. But anyways, um, we can't go too much ahead, can we? But it, it promises to be quite an interesting month. You're also having a new moon in your sign. At the very cusp of Capricorn, which again emphasizes, um, and that new moon, I'm looking when that is, around the 21st, 22nd. So when that Pluto Uranus square was very tight, so I think there's something that you want to need to share about you and then it's, it's going to give you some kind of new beginning, some kind of a new start almost. So um, you're already having a new start in December. That's basically it. Um, so I, I think not, not a bad month for Capricorns. Yes, intense because of the Pluto Uranus square. Intense when it comes to what you, what you want to express. But what you want to express in a gentle way, because Venus is there as well. Gentle, yes, but very intense, you know. Okay, thank you for listening. Wishing you a very good month. Um, spread these videos around so a bit more people are watching it, if you want to, of course. And um, thanks for listening. See you um, next year. Bye-bye.